Where do I sit here? Okay. I've never done this before. Therapy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I must be the only two left on God's good earth who hasn't been to therapy. Oh, well. I used to think that's what friends were for. To gab, you know. But the older you get, the less you go out. The less you go out, the less friends you have. Yeah. Yeah, my boys wanted me to get out of the house, so here I am, out of the house. Are they happy? I don't know. Ah, uh, oh, you like my glasses. Uh, I got these about, what, 10 years ago. Oh, my vision got so bad, I started plotting into the walls of my very own home, collecting scars all over my face from the impacts. Yeah. My eye doctor took one look at me. He said, Regina, the dermatologist is on the eighth floor. <laughs> oh, so he prescribed me these glasses and ever since, I feel like I have the vision of a disabled spider on psychedelics. <sighs> There's spiders left in the ocean. I mean, it's still foggy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's better than I had, yeah, better than I had. Yeah. You know, my vision wasn't always this bad. Oh, no. Back in my day, I could spot a looker a mile away. I would point them out to my mother, and she would say to all of them, He's no good. Yeah. Then when I met my Larry, she said, He's no good either, but at least he's a Jew. <laughs> well, she was wrong for the longest time. We were so happy, me and Larry. Yeah. Larry Pickle. It was about five years ago now that Larry and I celebrated our 30th anniversary. The boys threw us a party. Oh, let me tell you, it was a day. <sighs> and shortly thereafter, well, I was substitute teaching at the time at the local elementary school, and I had forgotten one day a particular set of keys in the bedroom in the dresser drawer, so... I came home early, unexpected-like, and I see Larry has his usual sign on the doorknob. So I gave it to him for his birthday one year. It would say, uh, it do not disturb the pickle. <laughs> and a picture of a pickle on it. <laughs> oh, I was in stitches. The boys and I, we had a laugh. Yeah. Well, anyway, I needed these keys, so what do I do? I open the door, walk in quiet-like. And what do I see? Nothing but Larry. Plots on top of what appeared to be a much younger woman. At first I thought he had crushed her and she was dead, but no! She was sound asleep, both of them, in my bed. Well, I screamed, Larry! Larry! Oh, the look on his face and the girl. No words. I left. I came back. He apologized. Oh, I could hear my mother from the grave. What did I tell you? He's no good. But I stayed. Well, what was I to do? Larry had never been unfaithful to me. Not in 30 years. We still had a marriage. We didn't sleep in the same bed anymore, naturally, but everything was the same. We stopped going on our walks, but I figured, ah, who needs walks anyway with our aching backs and all and the blistering sun? Oh, no, no, no. We ate at separate times, but other than that, everything else was exactly the same. Yeah. He stopped going to temple, that's when... You know what? A lot did change. And I'm so glad that I'm finally able to say it out loud because I don't think that I would have realized it otherwise. <laughs> this is good. You're good. <laughs> well, I would say until we meet again, but I much prefer the saying my late brother used to tell me. He'd say, you attend the bris, I'll attend to the right peel off and we'll meet back here in 40 minutes. <laughs> Do you get the meaning? Well, everybody knows a brisk takes longer than 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, now. Bye-bye. Where do I exit? Here? Okay. Bye now.